Good day, mates. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I've got some big topics to cover. I woke up this morning and everyone was freaking out and adding me that Benji has been cheating on stream. He's using double movement software. He should be banned. He's saying it's not bannable. Everyone's freaking out. So I'm going to cover exactly what's going on with Rewast and the other different programs that you can use to get double movement on mouse and keyboard without having to buy a specific Wooting or Razer keyboard. I'm going to address whether Benji Fish is actually cheating and whether you should use it as as well. I'm going to cover all of that. Also, I need to talk about how it looks like we could potentially have the Cash Cups getting cancelled this weekend. We had a test event put on on NA East Champions Division this morning as of me recording this video, and it looks like it was to test this Q bug, which makes me think it's not out of the game yet. It makes me a little bit scared whether it's going to affect the Cash Cups again this weekend. Also, at the end of today's video, we have a huge game-changing leak from Hypex talking about a new NPC that's going to be introduced on the map that if this is introduced to your drop spot or you should know where it's going to be so you can drop on it, it will 100% make this the best drop spot on the map. This is heavily, heavily going to change the power play that we currently have between the different POIs. Just a little disclaimer here, uh, I filmed the first part of this video before getting a haircut and now I've gotten a haircut and I'm adding some parts in. So don't freak out that all of a sudden my hair completely changes. Thank you. So before I explain exactly what's going on with double movement, what's rewast, why is everyone saying Benji's cheating, let me just show you the clip that's made everyone freak out from Benji Fishy's stream today. Boys, rewast is allowed now. Boys, rewast is allowed now. You're allowed to use rewast. I don't think it's been announced yet, but you're allowed to use rewast. I made sure before I'm not not getting banned, trust me, I wouldn't, I'm not that dumb. Before we jump into this, let me catch you up to date on exactly what double movement is in case by this chance you don't know. I'll make it quick, don't worry. Almost everyone knows at this point. Basically, on controller, you can look one way and run a different direction. That's because you have double movement, you have analog sticks. Recently, mouse and keyboard players have been able to achieve this by buying specific keyboards, most notably the Wooting and the Razer Analog. And a lot of people have seen this as a huge advantage to those specific keyboards. And it is. It lets you have way better movement. It lets you strafe into boxes. It lets you top sideways it is a massive advantage and previously you're only able to get it if you bought one of these keyboards which a lot of people aren't happy about so software has been created that mimics this movement and allows you to have it on any keyboard a whole bunch of pros have been using it. a lot of the community has been talking about it i've been avoiding the topic because i don't want to talk about anything that could potentially get you guys banned i've been avoiding it waiting for epic games to make an official statement as i know they're going to but now with benji fishy doing it on stream this has given a lot of people the all clear you've got got so many pros tweeting out that now it's okay, it's allowed, everyone's talking about it. So I want to recap exactly whether it's actually allowed or not so you don't get banned. If you're confused, the reason why Benji keeps saying rewast is that's what the program a lot of people are using, R-E-W-A-S-D. The next part is the fact that he says that Epic is allowing it, they haven't made a statement yet. And now this is the situation that gets a little bit awkward. There is the closed Discord we've talked about multiple times here on the channel, it is public now. There's a bunch of pros and a bunch of community figures that are invited into a closed Discord where we can collaborate, talk about balance changes, bugs, things like that. That is where Benji Fishy has got word about this, but I don't want to say that you're allowed to use it until Epic makes an official statement. I hope we're going to get one soon. We've been waiting one for a while since the Wooting keyboard came out. Everyone's been talking about double movement, whether it's fair, should you be allowed to do it? And I think a lot of people were expecting one to happen at the start of the new season and the start of the competitive season. And I'm almost positive there's one coming soon. So if you're considering using these programs, are they bannable? Just Wait, I think we need to wait for an official statement. I'm sure it's going to come soon. Don't risk getting banned because you wanted to try a program three days earlier. And just because Benji Fishy does something doesn't mean it's okay and doesn't mean it's not bannable. But in the same way, I don't think Benji Fishy is going to get banned for this one. He's got a good relationship with Epic. It could have been a big misunderstanding. I don't know how they're handling things behind closed doors. But I don't want you to see a pro doing something or someone else doing something in the community and then just assume that it's okay and you're not going to get banned for it. Just don't 
run the risk right now. Wait until there's a statement made. As far as my opinion on double movement, I think that Rewast and programs like that should be allowed. If anyone can download them for free and get the same advantage as other people who are having to pay for it, I think that's fine. I don't think it's fair that if you can't afford to buy a brand new keyboard like a Wooting, you should be at a disadvantage of your friend. At the same way though, there's always going to be disadvantages in gaming based on how much money you have, even down to whether you can buy a controller with paddles. That's going to give you ability to have more keybinds. If you have a controller that doesn't have paddles, you're now technically at a disadvantage. Double movement's a little bit different because even on a controller without paddles, you can do claw to get those keybinds. But double movement, you cannot achieve right now in the game for sure without getting banned unless you buy a specific keyboard. If these programs are allowed, then anyone could just download it, set it up, and it doesn't matter if you have a, a $10 keyboard from good guy, you'll still be able to use it. Now, also, if we get a statement from Epic, which I'm sure we're going to, I will break it down. I'll explain exactly what's going on. And if we are now allowed to use these programs, I will make a tutorial and a guide on how you can use them. I'm just waiting because I don't want to give you guys advice or kind of promote anything that could get you banned. Please just wait. Also, in case it wasn't clear as well, no hate towards Benji Fishy for this. I've seen a few people getting a little bit funny about it as, oh, you're promoting something that's bannable, this is not fair, or how dare you go and use a program that we're not allowed to use and you can't get banned. It's a big discussion with a lot of nuance right now. It is very, very confusing. I know in the clip specifically, Benji Fishy mentioned that I said it was okay. The reason why he said this is because I've been talking to a bunch of pros about how, you know, Rewast, I believe, should be allowed because based on Epic Games' interpretation of what a macro is, which is setting one keybind to have multiple inputs, that is not what this program does. It is changing how one input works. Instead of making it a function like a regular input, it is functioning like an analog input, which is the same as what those keyboards do. So in that, in that instance, it is not against Epic's current terms of service. So technically, that is where I think the loophole is for Benji right now, and he shouldn't get banned, but at the same time, I wouldn't risk it until Epic makes a specific statement. So again, no hate towards Benji. I don't think he's done anything wrong. I think he's just jumped the gun a little bit. He's misinterpreted the situation, and I hope, I hope that no one's gonna get in trouble for this. Also, before I finish up on this topic and move on to the rest of the video, I don't work for Epic. Everyone's always gonna say I work for Epic. I'm in the same situation as the pros. We get to have conversations with Epic. We get to give our input. They give communication back. I don't work for Epic. I just look into these situations. I read the terms of service extensively and I figure out things that are going on in the scene, okay? Aussie Antics doesn't work for Epic. Now, if you guys watch my channel a lot, you know I don't really do leaks a lot. I just want to wait until it comes out to be 100% sure. But Hypex, obviously one of the most reputable uh, leakers in the community and has it on very good authority. And the reason why I want to talk about this one is because knowing ahead of time is going to be a huge advantage for teams trying to alpha one of these drops. And also for yourself, if you're trying to look for a drop spot to go this season, there is a very good chance I would start practicing one of these. So let's see exactly what it is. So Hypex tweeted out, next update's new NPC is going to be Sparkplug. Location Lazy Lake, Weeping Woods, or Power Dam. I'm going to talk about exactly why there's confusion and what that might mean. Services. Upgrade and sell eight mechanical parts. Upgrade and sell eight mechanical parts. Also has a list of the interactions when you talk to it, but I know as competitive fans, you don't really care too much, but that is insanely broken. That means if you take, let's at any of these drops, they have enough gold to be able to just find the gold in couches or beds. But let's say Weeping Woods, let's say you're dropping Weeping Woods. You go up to Spark Plug. If you have a gray mechanical shotgun, you'll be able to upgrade to a Spaz instantly. You'll be able to have enough gold to upgrade it and enough gold to buy the mechanical parts. They usually only cost 10 gold per mechanical part. If you farm the other vehicles that are nearby, that means if you drop Weeping Woods, for example, and Spark Plug goes there, you're going to get guaranteed Scar and Spaz every single game for like two or three minutes of effort. This is going to revolutionize competitive right now and massively change up the kind of power play between the drop spots. We haven't really seen that one drop spot right now that is insanely strong compared to the rest. We have Craggy Clear that has the upgrade, it has the god chest, I've talked about that, it has the slurp barrels, but all the upgrades right now, if you look at them, all of them are on the edge of the map. 
And that is what's affecting the drops. Cam Cod, for example, has an NPC just like this, has an upgrade and sells mechanical parts. But a lot of the tier one teams don't want to go there because of how difficult Camp Cod is to rotate from, how you don't get your storm surge and how you get held. If this goes to an, uh, a drop in the middle of the map or close to it, and I mean, Lazy Lake and Weeping Woods are very central map. Even the power dam isn't that far off the edge. That is massive, not just for the teams that drop there, but the teams that drop areas around it. But why does it say Lazy Lake, Weeping Woods or Power Dam? All the NPCs always spawn in one location. There's two possibilities here. Either it's going to be the first NPC of the season that rotates. I mean, if you look at last season, it was very normal to have an NPC that sometimes spawned in one spot or sometimes spawned in another. For example, you had fish sticks that sometimes spawned at Coral Castle and sometimes spawned at Craggy. It made the drop spot a little less reliable because you didn't know whether you were going to get it or not. In the current season, though, all the NPCs always spawn in their location 100% of the time. So it's either going to break that trend and it's going to rotate around or for whatever reason, Hypex doesn't know exactly exactly where it's going to go and it's going to go to one of these locations that last option is the one that's going to pretty much break that poi and make it insanely contested because if it's going to guarantee get that every single time at lazy lake weeping woods or power dam everyone's going to want to drop there everyone's going to want to rotate there and everyone's going to want a piece of this npc this is pretty much what made the last season so broken for dirty docks and misty they had insane loot and they had guaranteed npc for upgrades now not only are you going to have insane loot at any of these POIs, there's solid loot, especially Lazy Lake, you're then going to have an upgraded NPC and you're going to be able to buy mechanical parts on top of that. And remember, buying mechanical parts, usually you can do multiple per player. I don't know whether it's going to be locked to maybe like the NPC only sells eight total or it's eight to each player. Imagine you can buy eight mechanical parts for each player on your team for 10 gold each. If you're not already going one of these locations or you are, I would definitely have your eyes on looking at what happens with this NPC. Nothing has come out of it yet. We haven't actually had one of the updates yet to see when this one would drop in. Maybe it's just going to be in pubs. Maybe I've got excited about all of this for nothing. But so far, there is not any NPC that is only in pubs and not in arena. The NPCs are there. They just usually sell different things and do different things. But... I'm excited. This is going to be massive for the kind of strength of each POI on the map. It is going to see a huge power shift. All right, let's move on to why I think the Cash Cups this weekend could potentially be cancelled. So Epic Games reached out to us in the closed Discord. If you don't know, I've talked about this a few times. There's a closed Discord where the Epic Games staff interact with a lot of the pros and the community figures to try to figure out fixes for things, balance changes, stuff like that. It's been really, really helpful for a lot of things moving forward. And they've reached out to us specifically saying if we could promote a test event that was running for NA East Champions Division players because they're still not sure of this Q bug and they need more data to fix it. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, by the time I saw this message, the event had already passed. It was super early for me. I slept in a little bit today, but we haven't got a fix. I don't know. There's only what? What's today right now? I'm filming this on a Thursday for me. That means OCE's Cash Cup is pretty much in about 48 hours. It's been about a week and a bit now. The Q bug still hasn't been fixed. I really, really hope they got the data they needed out of this because, man, I know it was great. Again, this wasn't even that long of a time without cash cups. Like, I remember seasons ago where we waited four months with not a single tournament. So I'm not about to complain if we miss cash cups again, but it's been a fair bit into the season now, especially because we didn't, we had the whole preseason thing. So really, it's been almost a month now of this season and we haven't really been able to see a full set of cash cups on every single region. I know the community is going to freak out. I wanted to talk about it mostly not to get everyone upset, not to get everyone mad, just to just give you a heads up to maybe lessen the blow if you find out the Cash Cups this week and are cancelled. I really hope they're not. I'm sure Epic Games is doing literally everything they can to fix it, but this seems like it's a pretty troublesome Q bug. And the thing that it confuses me or concerns me, especially if you're NA guys, is the tournament ran properly on Middle East, Asia, and EU. And then it started to have problems for NA and Brazil, but they only ran this test event on NA East. I don't know if that's because they only needed the data from NA East or just because NA East is the most kind of, I don't know, conducive time zone to run this because obviously Epic Games headquarters is in NA East. Maybe that's why, but I don't know. Maybe they canceled just the NA tournaments. Maybe the other regions are fine. I just don't know, but I at least wanted to mention it and talk about it where if you're making big changes to your plans this weekend so you can play in the Cash Cups, Maybe hold off. I'm not sure at this point.
All right, guys, that does it for a new video. I know it's a little bit crazy, long hair, short hair, everything else was going on, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please chuck a like on it. Let me know in the comment section down below your opinions on double movement and rewast. Do you think it should be allowed? Do you think it should be disallowed? If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.